And what's the features on this? It's for your treatment. <laughs> hey, adventurers. Hey, adventurers. Hey, uh, we are here with Adrian Kelsey, Australian brand manager for White's Power Sports in their brand new warehouse facility here in Brisbane. Um, yes. Probably 30 years originally started in New Zealand okay. that, the, that White's has existed. Um, I think in Australia now we're probably eight, nine years. Mm -hmm. Hard parts, apparel, pretty much a one-stop shop for everything you possibly need for motorcycling. From LS2 helmets, Oxford clothing, Risha clothing, Liat across the off-road brands, and everything to do with workshop or what your bike might need, we supply that to the industry. Yes. Okay. So if you've been following us for a while, you'd know that we've had some LS2 helmets, uh, the flip top ones, which we love. Um, so highly recommend those. Which um, we got about three years ago when yeah. we became ambassadors for LS2 yep. um, through Adrian and White's Power Sports. Yes. So can maybe for people who are not familiar with Risha, because it's relatively new to Australia, I think, isn't it? Yes, good question, because I was going to go there. Yeah, <laughs> do you want to just sort of fill us in and tell yeah, us a bit so about Risha? Risha originally is, so it's Belgium based, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, nearly 70 years making clothing. So they started mm -hmm. off predominantly with gloves yep. and basically have moved the whole way through. Mm -hmm. And they are amongst the handful of suppliers that actually are Gore-Tex certified. Okay. Okay. So you can't just make a jacket and say, hey, we'll put some Gore-Tex in. Gore-Tex actually has to certify your manufacturing process, which is a good level to gauge the quality of the product because no. any, any product you make that's got Gore-Tex, they have to authorize it before you can go to market. Okay. So it shows that they have faith in your models, in your brands, in, yep. your, in your fabrication and everything. Fantastic. Um, so Belgium Riche is probably in the top 10 in Europe mm -hmm. when it comes to motorcycle clothing. Mm -hmm. They do the Dutch, I think it's the Dutch, oh, forgetting the other police force. <laughs> oh, yes. They completely clothe them all out. Okay. But they have a, a clothing line all the way through, and we now distribute that in Australia. Okay. Um, from Gore-Tex right down to your basic vintage yeah. jackets. So we cover everything Brilliant. for road or adventure. Might just uh, grab some of the gear that we're going to be um, trialling uh, for our trip to Europe that we start next week and we're heading off 12 months. Yep. Um, yes. <laughs> so we will be doing uh, our, our um, reviews and stuff on, on the gear we're going to be trying. Um, so you might just uh, grab a couple. So we'll get some gear on and, uh, and show you what it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds right. good. So we're all dressed up. Here we <laughs> <they> are. <laughs> so yeah, I've uh, Trying out the um, Risha Infinity 2 mm -hmm. jacket. Um, and I've got the Infinity for the women's. Yeah, that's the specific ladies' cut. Yes. Uh, yep. so the Risha Infinity 2 jacket, that's basically the jacket that put Risha on the map. So this is the biggest selling jacket, and it is an all rounder. Mm -hmm. So from your commuting to work every day to your weekend adventure room. It has a removable thermal liner, a removable yes. rain liner. Yes. And incredibly, when those two are out, this jacket is very light. So yeah. Yeah. Queensland, yeah, light. Australia, those hot climates where you've got to dance between yes. 35 and then minus five because you're somewhere else, you can really tailor make these, these yeah. jackets. So there's full ventilation in the front. Yep. And then around the back, if you just do a quick turnaround, you've got breathable vents on the back. They all come standard with D3O armor. For those of you who know, um, the D3O armor is the highest level really right now in body armor protection. Yeah. In them. Adrian, they come standard. Yeah, Adrian pulled the armor out for us and showed us, and it's so cool. Like it's kind of almost like floppy, um, like against your body, but apparently on, on impact, it's like rock hard. Oh, rock hard? Is yeah, right? it's, it, it's dead solid. Yeah. It's it, solid it, yeah. it feels pliable and soft, so it moves nasty with you on yeah. the bike. But on an impact, it absorbs all the impact energy. and it's really hard. So it's that yeah. energy. So if you take the standard protectors that are out there and you take a D3O and you drop a metal ball on them, the standard yeah. one will go dong, 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 yeah. dong, dong. Mm -hmm. You drop it on D3O, it just goes dong. Okay. Because it's absorbed oh, the energy and you want that energy away from you yes. when you're riding. And that's what D3O does. That's so why it's so good. Yeah. It's not absorbing it. Correct. Yeah, yeah. awesome. So Mid range jacket, uh, price wise, Adrian, I think they're $5.49. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So, yeah, we're looking forward to trying this gear out and 
coming back and giving you a report in, in yep. you know a couple months time we'll report back and let you know how we go and then so that's so i'll, I'll yes. grab that that is then just basically the matching pants yep we'll just um, model them <laughs> but basically the same comes with a thermal liner in these particular pants the rain liner is built in but they have the same d3o armor we just mentioned yep. venting on the side um non-slip oh. yeah. On that the butt, like, yes. so you're not going to slide up and down the seat when it starts to get wet, and all the little goodies that make it really comfortable to be in all day. Yeah, yes, yes, yes all that. in you. So I think the test when these come through will be very, very positive. Yes, can't okay. wait. Thank you. All right. Perfect. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs> so the next thing we are going to be trying or, or trialing um, is the, or for me, is the new LS2 Valiant 2 helmet. Um, we already we have the LS2 Valiant. Um, we've had them for uh, probably yep. I don't know, been over three years and everything. Yeah, I mean it's lovely. Like, I love this helmet so much. <laughs> but they are an awesome helmet. They're awesome value. Um, so there's their modular helmets. The thing I really like about them is one, you can flip your this bit all the way to the back. So if you are riding open face. You're not getting wind caught with some of them that sit up like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, they come standard with pin lock, which mm -hmm. is probably the best pin lock I've had in a helmet yes. for not getting fog in your visor yeah. Um, yeah. when you're riding in the rain, the hail, the snow that we've ridden in. <laughs> they Very come good. with a, um, a uh, shade visor, so yeah. awesome for riding uh, on those bright sunny days or into the sun. But, but, they're just yeah. a brilliant helmet. Yeah, a really and not awesome super helmet. super expensive either. Um, and the great thing about the new Valiant Two is <laughs> <laughs> it comes with this awesome backpack to put it in. So if you're actually flying or anything else, you can just leave it in your backpack, yeah. take it on this carry-on luggage. Yeah. yeah. And it also doubles it's got up the straps. as a um, backpack. So. Okay. Brilliant. You know, for the price of these helmets and what they have in them and what they've got included, yeah. you're really hard pressed to find something else on the market like it. Yeah. And they are just super comfortable. So. Yes. And just a word on the difference between the the one the original and the two. This this one fits the shape of my head better. This one I found was I think rounder and pressed on my forehead yep. a bit more. So just depending on what shape your head is, um, this one or this one might suit you better. Yeah. Um, but obviously just try them on and see how you go. Um, yeah. they're great helmets. And the other, the, the other beauty is you never have to, people sometimes think, oh, it's a modular, so do I have to put the peak up first? I mean, do I have to put the visor up first to open? Yeah. It doesn't matter on this which, which way it is. So whether the visor's up and then you put that up, or then you put that down because you're riding and then you put that back down, it automatically comes back up. Yeah. Or put it down and then just the whole lot just comes up. So you don't have to if do one step before the other. If you want it open, just grab it and open it and the whole mechanism will do it all for you. Yeah, yeah. it's brilliant. So yes, we, uh, we, we are... Uh, yeah, we just <laughs> you like can that. probably tell that we really so, like it. <laughs> so once again, Adrian and White's Power Sports, yes. thank you so much. You're for very welcome. For You're very welcome. welcome. Yeah. Um, yes. We're really looking forward to... Uh, Trialing the gear and, and giving our honest reviews back. Um, Enjoy yeah. your travels. So, and yes, thank thank you. you. And don't put too many photos up because I'll be <laughs> jealous and see all the uh, thousands of kilometres you guys right. do. Okay, we can't promise that. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Okay, no, you guys, you're welcome. Ciao, thank, thank you very much. You. Thank you. Bye. Bye.